Okay, so we're gonna go watch. Oh, wait. wait, you're watching and what you're watching and listening to the Fat Bidin Film Club. And I'm assuming I'm Zan Azli and I'm Isa Azli. And uh, we're gonna watch a movie that I'm pretty excited about. Okay. And I'm hoping it doesn't disappoint. Uh -huh. It's called Alif Dalam Tujuh Dimensi. Alright. <laughs> So what do you know about this movie? Nothing. It's produced by Chain FX and Astro Shaw. Oh. Yes. Uh, Chain FX is, as you can tell by the name, is a visual effects company. Oh. Uh, That's why it's Tujo Dimensi. Yeah. Is it a 7D movie? Yes. <laughs> so you you cannot even see it. <laughs> the thing about this movie is that it's Cheetah Hantu la. Oh, but it like, is ah. It's like superhero Cheetah Hantu kind of thing. All right. If you if you wanna watch it. Uh -huh. You can pause it now while we go and watch it And you can go You can watch the whole thing online lah But there's a 20 minute uh, The Teaser. first 20 minutes on the On YouTube Oh They purposely released it or what? Yes so I live dalam tujuh dimensi Wow that's cool Okay we go watch now Okay So uh. Okay So, so we just watch I live dalam tujuh dimensi I live dalam tujuh dimensi Yeah It was not very well, it was difficult to sit through lah, but it was not unexpected. It has some of the most horrible acting I've ever seen. Yeah. First off, this is what the movie is about. <laughs> Alif is this kid who... Uh, well, it started off when he was a kid, already he can see uh, ghosts, spirits lah. Jin. Yeah, jin. And he can fight them off. Yeah. He, he has, has like super has power, power strength. He finds out that his uh, roommate is in uni lah. Uh, now suddenly in, fast forward, he's, he's in, in uni. He's in university right now. Yes. His roommate and the roommate's friend yep. uh, like to go out and... Uh, Look for ghosts yeah, with a GoPro like, camera. Yeah, they like to document uh, supernatural sightings lah. Yes, and they never have managed to. Yeah, until they, they realise that Alif has Can this... Superpowers. This ability to see ghosts lah. Uh, turns out Alif has these powers because he has a sucker that yes. is attached to him. That looks very much like the mummy monster. Which, which he draws power from lah. <laughs> to fight uh, beasts or ghosts. Jin. The jinn of that, that creature's uh, dimension. <laughs> so that's, that's what, the story, what the show is about lah. It stars uh, Izu Islam. Okay. Uh, as Alif and then uh, Alif Sata as his roommate and uh, uh, Juliana Evans as Anna. I have uh, I have never heard or seen any of these actors before. They're they quite popular, <laughs> la, so you know. They are? Yeah. <laughs> but they are horrible at acting. Except for Izu Islam, I guess, because he's got that. Uh, he just had that one glamour point. Yeah. His golden hour where he talks to himself. Yeah. And he transforms from the jinn to himself to the jinn to himself in the conversation, which went on a bit too long. Yeah. But all all three of them were horrible at acting. Well, the thing is, it's, it's written. I think they did the best they could with the script they had. The script was lousy. Yeah, the script was very bad. The film was lousy. Yeah. Okay, let me tell you why I'm, I, I was very interested in watching this film. Yes, uh, why? Because like when I first saw the trailer, I straight sent to you, right? Like, yo, I've got to watch this Alif Dalam Tujuh Dimensi. I did not watch the trailer. Ah, okay. That you sent me. Okay, so because uh, before I saw the trailer, I was actually already... I was... I just had a conversation with my friend about uh, science fiction in, in Malaysia. Malaysia. Okay. And we were discussing how... how uh, say like Japan, sci-fi is very much rooted in... Uh, robots and monsters uh -huh. which was pretty much the vehicle to tell Japanese stories mm -hmm. of like it was like post post uh, war, war. Yep. war so II. how they were trying to pick themselves up and yep. everything 
or and like how they will really try and be future robots and stuff like that lah. Mm. Future and robots and stuff. And so we were discussing how Malaysia can find a identity lah. An identity and like let it be told through science fiction. So and okay. Uh, it's on. like 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 it seems like the 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 main way to the main genre lah that all this can be told is through ghost stories lah. Which is what Malaysia has been doing lah. But uh, like proper sci-fi lah. Mm. So I was hoping this would be something like that because they had like they were in university and like they were doing studies on 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 the uh, supernatural. The supernatural. But no. But but the thing is, yeah. See, this it was uh, how I feel about the movie. I didn't like it lah. You also didn't like it, right? I hated it. One of the things that I was disappointed about this film was that it didn't live up to my. Oh yeah, maybe it's unfair to expect them to have a deeper story than just about <laughs> ghosts. You because, know, because Malaysia can never have deeper stories. Yeah, <laughs> Malaysian films can never have these deep stories. No, but but the thing is, it all the elements that I felt are uh, it should be uh, like could be the way forward for Malaysian sci-fi uh-huh. uh, genre, uh-huh. the Malaysian sci-fi genre. It's all there. It's just it, they never maybe they just didn't see it lah. The film was just bad. That I don't even. Find a point in trying to look deeper into reviewing it, and trying to relate it to the times or science fiction or to society or to Malaysia. We've been watching so many bad films. This is not as bad as Zack Kapchai. We watched Zack Kapchai. Mm. Zack Kapchai was the worst so far, mm. right? We've watched this. We've seen a few bad local films, mm. right? And how 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 many more are we going to watch? And we're going to keep on reviewing that is bad. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's the point of having a review show, to or like to, to or to 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 critique things, but, yeah. so that you can see uh, what is lacking, what is uh, what I- what exists out there right now, and you're uh, supposed to make sense of why it's like that. Mm. I see as going to watch these films and talking about these films mm. as a way to support the local industry, right? Right, and when we go for me lah personally, and we go and we pay and we watch these films, then mm. we talk about it, and then you know it's just. One lousy film after another, mm. it it just makes me frustrated. Well, I understand the, what you're saying, lah. I understand the, what you're that's saying. That's the that's the the burden of watching <laughs> a film, lah. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand what you're saying, lah. You want to talk about it, you want to try to make sense of it. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? I, but but I just can't help feeling frustrated, lah. Once in a while, you find a good one, lah. Mm. Right, once in a while, right. But for the most of times, it's it's just frustrating, ah. Huh? Well, I guess we can just wait for interchange, lah. Oh. No episodes until interchange. <laughs> but you know, some of the worst movies that we've seen and we've reviewed has gotten the most views. Yeah. Like Munafik, like Zack Kapchai. Oh, Munaf- Munafik was actually better than this film, lah. Uh, ah, Munaf, yes. Actually, <laughs> actually, you know, talking about how you know, if you want to watch the review, watch how we review Munafik. Mm. It was a bad film, but it was better than this film. Yeah. Right. The worst was Zack Kapchai, lah. Zack Kapchai <laughs> has been the worst film we've watched so far, lah. Yeah, and, and, and you know what? Actually, I would actually recommend people to go and watch this film. I would actually. Okay. Because after I'm thinking about right now, I'm thinking about Zack Kapchai. Zack Kapchai was the only film that I think I don't want to recommend people to watch. So right. this one compared to Zack Kapchai, I'd say okay, go watch it lah. Yeah. But you know, beware because you might just get frustrated lah. Yeah. Uh, but okay. Uh, now is the thir- uh wait when. <laughs> the, yes. fi- the film came out on eighth of September. Yeah. We're uh, you, it you, are, you are watching it. Uh, you are watching as we are talking about this when, when you're watch um, when you're watching us. Talk about this. It's, it's been good. less than a week in the it's cinemas. Exactly a week. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And the thing is, um, there's very limited viewing already. Yeah. So you know lah, you are putting some effort. It's like three shows a day, and like very few cinemas lah. Uh, I think they're pushing for it to be on Astro. Probably people, definitely lah for sure because it's an Astro film ah. Yeah, people can just let it run during the year. Uh. So the thing is, I'm I'm always going to be interested whenever like somebody's going to do like some uh, sciencey uh. ghost stuff, because I think that would be interesting to see, lah. <laughs> sure. I w- I mean, like, I would like I would like to personally uh, keep in keep track of. We we'll watch it, it and we we'll review how it, it, how it progresses. We, I mean, we we'll watch it and we we'll review all these films that come out, right? Yeah. If they keep on making films like this. No, right. I mean, I mean specifically the genre, lah. Ah, uh, okay. They they make films in this genre. Mm. If it's bad, I'm still gonna be frustrated. Mm. 
<laughs> so, if you like this review, please share it with everybody you know. If you don't like this review, please share it with everybody you know. Mm. Uh, uh, also, the reason I bring up this whole national thing, what? Because Selamat Hari Malaysia. Oh, yeah, Selamat Hari Malaysia. Yeah. yeah. So, let's move forward with ghost science fiction <laughs> uh, movies. Yeah, okay, so uh, follow us on all our social media platforms at FatBidin or go to FatBidin.com for everything. You've been watching and listening to the FatBidin Film Club. I'm assuming I'm Zan Azli. And I'm Aizel Azli. Alright, peace.